morning. It's Aaron. It's Aaron's Tchotchkes. It's Saturday at 9.32. <laughs> and I have stuff falling on the ground. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So today, I mean, I'm out of Tchotchkes, guys. Out of Tchotchkes. So today, we're doing a tour of my massage studio, and you get to see the tchotchkes in my studio, which when I tell you I'm out of tchotchkes, this is no, this is no joke, because as I've said before, it's very ironic that I have a show called Aaron's Tchotchkes because I don't have tchotchkes. Um, plus with COVID in my massage studio, I had to put like everything away. So I'm on my little rolling stool. Good morning, Trisha. How are you today? This really is a more civilized hour for Aaron Shoshkis, except that like, I have to work. So I've got a client at 10. So I figured, okay, Shoshkis at 9.30, plenty of time, client. So I'm actually all ready for my client. I'm sitting on my little rolling stool so that I can like spin around Okay, let's start with, <laughs> no, no, mom said that too. She was like, oh, I'll have to give you more tchotchkes. No, no, <laughs> no more tchotchkes. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys <laughs> is that I talked to everybody about the pillowcase thing that I do here because when you um, have to wear a mask, it can be suffocating as it is. And then if you want to receive a massage and you're face down with the mask on, it's awful. And I've, I've done it and I do not like it. And so I do this thing. Let's see if I can. Hey, Doreen, how are you this morning? So let's see if I know how to flip my camera. Why do I not? There it is. Okay. Okay, so we have the face rest um, with its cushion. And what I have done is I attach a pillowcase underneath. So it's secure. So it's under the face cushion, but it's secure and it goes all the way around because it's a pillowcase and it acts as a mask. So, um, in theory catches and contains droplets so that you're in theory, not spreading and I'm not breathing it, yay. <laughs> so in this one, I only had the dark one today, which is not ideal for this, but it's open when you put your face in, so you can breathe, which is nice, and you're not inhaling fabric, um, because inhaling fabric is icky. Um, and then when you turn over on the massage table, I just have you pop your mask back on, and so some people keep it, you know, right around them or um, they put it on the table. I can hand it to them by the strap and they just put their mask back on when they're face up. And I wear my mask the whole time. So there's plenty of mask wearing and protection during your massage and um, people, people like it. I've also got the um, hard surface floors. So I clean those regularly and use my steam mop and can use my disinfectant you know, under the face rest too because a lot of clients have said that to me. They're like, hey, yeah, I'm not sure how well the spa cleans like the room and the floors. So my face is where somebody else's face was and whatever's on the floor, you know, all, all the things that we now think about that we didn't think of before. Um, let's see what else to show you. Let's okay. Well, what's behind me here? I have, I have my credentials. So I've got my manual lymphatic drainage course that I took a couple years ago. That's included, um, in every massage session, manual lymphatic drainage. Some people need more, some people need less. Um, I can talk about manual lymphatic drainage forever. Um, if you have a desk job or if you're sitting around now, especially now just Netflix binging and you're not moving and you feel like garbage, <laughs> it's 
because your lymph system's not moving. Um, the circulatory system has your heart, and so your heart pumps and moves your blood. Your lymph system doesn't have a pump, and so the only way to pump it is to move. So jumping jacks are awesome. That's why your cardio is awesome, um, but that's the only way it moves. And when it doesn't move, it gets stagnant, and that's what um, it carries white blood cells. It, it helps detox your body. It carries all the garbage out and through your organs and stuff. So the lymph system does a lot of stuff. And um, we don't know enough about it. Like we're just not taught about it. But the manual lymphatic drainage massage helps to pump it. And so it's a very, it's very light. It's very superficial. And, um, and I drain towards the lymph nodes and and get it moving so it can help make you feel better. Let's see, second one there. And by the way, these are so not tchotchkes because I worked my booty off for these pieces of paper so they don't count. I'll get to the tchotchkes in a minute. Second one is the Ashiatsu deep tissue massage. Dad, that's the one you get. I have a special certificate for that. Mm -mm -mm. And so people who like deep pressure, that's the one that I give you because I don't have a heavy hand um, but I have a heavy foot. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll tell the story of my, um, move from California to Texas and the lead foot situation that ensued, but not today. Let's see. What's this last one? Oh, that's my Reiki, my Reiki certificate. And Reiki is, uh, it's energy work. Also, you just get that because you get me when you get a massage. Um, so you get my energy with it. And um, also another whole episode talking about Reiki, describing Reiki. Um, <clears throat> Dr. Usui, um, who was the founder of modern day Reiki, was actually uh, Japanese. There's a memorial in one of the... Uh, shrines for him and I actually got to visit it and do um, I say private meditation because it was just me <laughs> with the shrine when I went to Japan last year and so um, that was really exciting but I am a Reiki practitioner and I also I don't have my cupping certificate up I have to find it I've also done certification in uh, cupping which if you're a regular of mine you know I include that as well because I don't like to upcharge people. Um, so if you need something and I have the tool, I want to give it to you. Let's see what else we got. Bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. Where will we stop? Boo, 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 boo. Oh, so mask. Well, I'm, I'm pointing it at the camera on the other side. Masks. I actually wear the disposable masks at work because then I throw them away when I'm done with my clients. But with the mask wearing, my face gets so dry from breathing into the mask. Um, and so for my lips, I got, I just got this. This is um, lip oil from Lemongrass Spa Products. It is so good. Um, this one's Island Coconut. They also have a blueberry one, but it's apricot oil, sunflower oil, raspberry seed oil. Um, and I mean, it's, it's oil. And so you just put a little bit on, but it moisturizes your lips. It keeps them soft. And so I put that on before I put my mask on so I don't get so dry. It's good. Um, let's see. Also not tchotchkes, but here they are. My little crystal family. Um, I do use these in the Reiki. I've got my little, my chimes sometimes. Sometimes the end of the massage calls for these. So sometimes people get those. It depends. It just depends. Depends what I'm feeling. Let's see. What else do we have? Boo! Oh, we have licenses. So I am a business. I am a legitimate business. I'm a real business, y'all. <laughs> so in order to be a real business doing massage, I have to have number one, 
a license to touch people. Um, so just so you know, if you go to like a regular Reiki practitioner um, that just does Reiki, they do not have a license to touch. And so technically they cannot do massage or touch you. you. You have to give specific permission. As a massage therapist, I can do both. So I can do the Reiki while I'm massaging you because I have a license to touch. Number two um, is my massage establishment license, which lets me have this space. So that's two licenses just for me. You, you do the government math on that one. But yes, I pay twice for one thing. Um, I've got my city license and I've got my county license. So, so many licenses, but I am a legit girl. And I actually think in all of my years, um, I'm in my eighth year, or did I just start my ninth? Uh, I think I'm in my eighth year of massage. I've only had one client and he was an attorney. One client say, by the way, can I see your license? And I was like, yeah, you can. <laughs> Here it is. Um, the other fun fact is that in Florida, the licenses do have to be displayed and they do have to have a photo. And the photo is to um, help prevent human trafficking and fraud because that's huge in Florida. Fraud is huge. Um, where should we go now? In the grand tour of Aaron's Massage Studio. Uh, oh! Let's stop at Funky Buddha. Okay, so Funky Buddha, he's totally a tchotchke. Um, I love him. I feel like he, I don't know, offers grace and protects my little entryway. And he's just comfy there. Love him. Um, there's actually a little place. I should put a little crystal in his hands. I wonder what kind I'm supposed to put in there. But uh, Funky Buddha. We have our candle with our hand sanitizer. We use lots of hand sanitizer here. Actually, the restroom's down the hall, so everybody washes hands. I wash hands, and the hand sanitizer's here for extra measure. But there's hand washing that happens. Let's see. Oh! Relaxation! So my neighbors know when I'm working and they don't come stomping down the hall. <laughs> Actually, I'm in a really quiet building. Um, my neighbor, uh, Dr. David Webb, is um, an acupuncturist and he's my neighbor. And then on other sides of me, I have um, psychologists. And then behind me, there's an architect. So it's a very quiet, chill place. I love it here. Ooh, one of my favorite. Oh, see, also not a tchotchke. No tchotchkes. This is when I first started uh, seeing her. When she first became a client, she started with those pieces and she was kind enough to give that to me. Now she has an entire new series that is out. Um, she was displayed at Art Walk this year. Um, she's got a space, if you're out and about, um, at Gulfstream Park. Uh, Gulfstream has joined the Zero Empty Spaces movement. And so, and Las Olas, I think, is still doing it too. So places that have um, empty retail are allowing artists to work there. And people can go in and visit and view the art and buy the art. And so it's not just empty space empty space sitting there zero empty spaces so I love that piece and I love it in my studio um it just makes me so happy good morning Liz welcome to the special not eight o'clock in the morning tour of Aaron's tchotchkes massage studio tour <laughs> with no tchotchkes okay so again I'm going to show you this piece because I love it and um and she's fabulous check out follow her instagram i think it's just dolly berlin i'll post it in the link but she has really great art and it's fun i know she does custom pieces as well all the good stuff um let's see where we go now oh the community board so if you come in oh and actually oh looky here dolly did she left a card so let's see um, these are the new pieces she's working on, and I love them. Hey, Kathy! Um, so here is Dahlia's information. Beautiful art. Love it. 
Um, so on the community board, if you come in here, you are welcome to put a card up and you're welcome to take a picture of a card if any of the services um, resonate with you. Um, we've got Liz with the V trainer up here. Um, Barbara, who actually lives in Texas, but she's my graphic designer and I adore her. Um, I've got my dentist. I've got, well, of course, my lemongrass and my comfy sheets. You know, I represent the Copeland brand. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, Jerry Copeland. Jerry, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna plug Jerry because Jerry doesn't plug Jerry. Look at me, this is like the longest chachis ever and I got a client coming in. Okay, Jerry has a program going for people who sell their homes themselves because the market's super hot right now and you absolutely can sell your house yourself. You can do it. Um, sometimes people don't know what to do with the paperwork and so he will take care of the paperwork end of it for a fraction of the fee. So usually listing brokers um, charge, you know, six, six percent, six, seven percent um, to list your property and sell it. Um, and Jerry's paperwork fee, I believe, oh my gosh, I should know better. I believe it's one percent, one percent of your sales price. And if I'm wrong, then bad on me, but call Jerry because <laughs> Jerry will tell you. So if you're selling your house yourself, uh, in Florida, in Florida, um, call Jerry and he can help you with that. Let's see. We've got, do do do. Oh, we've got business coaches. We've got Dr. Webb here, my acupuncture neighbor, estate planning. Um, my friend Lisa, who is um, mindful um, coach. She's a psychologist as well. She's awesome. Um, she deals a lot in trauma, and she's amazing. And I feel like that's the tour. So let's see, we got, it's a small space y'all, but it's a good one. So this is it. This is the grand tour. I have my, good morning, Debbie. My sparkle lights that stay up year round. Everybody gets their clean sheets. Um, I already shared my whole pillowcase cover. Do -do -do. We talked about that. Um, we've got aromatherapy, we got tunes, we got Georgia, um, air purifier. We got all the things, all the things. And there we have it. Um, we will see. I know I have Chachi's plan for next week. Um, if I can find the Chachi, it's a special Chachi, but I have to find it. So I'm going to do that and then... Um, and then we're going to see next week might be the last official weekly Aaron's tchotchkes. Um, and we'll see what the new year brings. So we'll talk about it next week. Um, thank you, Kathy. Oh, thank you. I, I love my space so much. And everyone that comes in, I have to say, I'm just so proud because they go, wow, this, this is really nice. And they love coming here and, um, they feel like it's their sanctuary and they just, um, it brings me so much joy to be able to offer that to people. So it is now time for me to go because I have a client coming in and I don't know that they want to be on Aaron's tchotchkes unexpectedly. <laughs> so everybody have an amazing day. I love you all. Mwah. Happy Saturday.